Hey everybody, welcome back to another Simface Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we're here to watch some Simfo gear. Last episode was Before I Destroy the World. As Ibiki tries to reason with Carol, refusing to don her Simfo gear, Chris comes into contact with another auto scorer, Leura Daharim. When a second enemy attacks, Chris is able to escape harm thanks to a girl named Elf9, who reveals she comes from a world of alchemy. Meanwhile, Carol tells Abiki that destroying the world is task given to her before retreating, leaving Abiki shocked with thoughts of her own father before passing out. Meanwhile, as Subasa and Maria attempt to free, uh, flee from Pharma, uh, no, Fyra, Maria suspects that Big Subasa Pharma. is- yeah, Big Pharma suspects that Tsubasa is the one being targeted, lamenting how she herself has been forced by the government to pretend to be an agent. Both Tsubasa and Chris are soon put into a pinch when their opponents summon Alkanoise, a new breed of noise that has the power to destroy their Simfo Gear armor. Well, they didn't name them last episode, so... As always, these things are just a little bit of spoilers. Yeah. Uh, I think it does clarify that Cthulhu from last episode was, in fact, a different character, not the same one. I think it was the same Which, one. Which, Conservation of Powers checks out. So. I think it was the same one. Uh, no, I they, they, they just indicated that a different one came in to change the fight up, and then they fled. No, it literally mirrored every movement she made. It was very symbolically the same person. Uh, maybe we'll go back over that again. Still, we, we've gotten our introduction to basically everybody, and I think all the fights have pulled back. No, no, that's right. Sorry, they ended up on breaking the Simfo Gears. Yeah, they were trying to get them to activate their Simfo Gears to obviously then destroy them. Also, mm -hmm. you just mentioned that there's another world. Uh, yeah, that suddenly has me thinking, are they just from another dimension? Well, I mean, it either means from the world of alchemy, like... This is a whole other thing that you don't even know. There's a whole world out there of alchemy. Or yeah. do they mean there's a whole other world out there of alchemy? Hmm. Yeah, the the emphasis changes what's important there, right? Yeah, the toy room, throne room could also just be another world. Maybe that's the moon. Maybe that's the center of the moon. They're all from the moon, and they thought the rocket that was sent up there was to spy on them, and this is their retaliation. So they're actually God, which was going to be woken up when the moon was broken open. No, Fine was going to get God's notice by destroying the moon, not wake God up in the moon. Secondly, I think it's hilarious that you think they're retaliating because someone sent a rocket up there, not because Fine blew a chunk off of it. Yeah, you know, I guess I was, like, less offensive. You know, it's like, ah, oh, we got rid of a bit of the moon. That's fine. We're under attack. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, no, you think if that was true, they would have reacted sooner. So they maybe they're not from the moon. I'm not saying it's impossible. The moon is a observation post we learned last uh, season. Mm -hmm. For who? The alchemists, maybe? The we're aliens. Not, there's a lot of shit going on with the moon that we're just not not getting told. Or like following through on it all. There's so much weird stuff. We have we have a mixing pot of just completely random stuff right now. And I wanna see where it goes. And it's gonna start with how do the girls get out of this one? Answers ninja powers. <laughs> I don't see any conflict in that. So let's go ahead and begin. But before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all that, if you want to watch more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut, as well as some early access stuff, you can check it out over on the Patreon. It's just $5 a month, but hey, no pressure. It's all to support the channel, just a little bit extra. So maybe this is the season where they stop being singers and they get new power sets. They're gonna start a band now. They're already in a band. Now they're Alkanoids. Rita Repulsa in her moon throne room. And then just the jester in the background. Again, they're here in the opening. Yeah. 
So what do you think, Doggy? Do you think that the Simpho Gears are going to get out of this one? Yeah, no, I think so too. Yeah. Your dog looks like an old man. <laughs> I guess they're going to get a new sword She's too. Fluffy. Oh yeah, the sword broke too. Oh, I said, I guess so... you're going to get a new sword too. It's in the intro. Oh yeah, yeah. Keep showing up. We got claws and talons now too. It seems like. Are we gonna go to the festival, or the Shrine Festival? I guess. The Shineberg Festival. Yeah. <laughs> Two hundred years from now, he's got a lot of work to do. I mean, I'm not picking up a lot of clues, other than things that'll happen. Yeah, I mean, like this is. This is also the intro where I'm just like, look, she's she's wearing her stuff again. She definitely gets it back sometime, right? Or just doesn't get destroyed. Hmm. Problematic. But what's her role in everything? We still haven't gotten that yet. Well, there's a fight. Alchemists versus Simpho gear, I guess. Because one is wants revenge for their dead father. And made a bunch of dancing minions. <laughs> Simpho Gear Ragnarok. Now that's an episode title. <laughs> See, the clothes don't come back. That's what I'm saying. Well, the gear broke, I guess, so the gear can't give it back. This is the Lord Zed season of Power Rangers. <laughs> They're doing the Star Trek thing. We're resonating with the frequency of their outfits. I know we've been joking about aliens and stuff, but they basically are the aliens here. Where they, like, understand the technology better than anyone else so far. It's just a little river dance to send them away. You won, why are you leaving? Where are you running? For the same reason why the bad guys never chase someone that's running away. Hey, she's back. Why did you put that on in the first place? You weren't wearing it before. She she stole a banner from someplace just to put it on to throw away dramatically. I mean, I like that style. I mean, the music is good. Oh yeah. Well, like a little screamy uh, thing. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a, a haunting screen, like match the theme, I think, right? Where'd the other girl go? They were but together. Gone somewhere else. Oh, yeah, nothing's beating Chris's new song. <laughs> You're ugly and you complain a lot. Hey, it's conceivably, yeah, if you're just fast enough, they can't touch you. She's sparking all over the place, though. Oh, hey, there she is. Just didn't transform. Oh, that's what the banner is for. Because she couldn't pick her up on her own?
And there we go, the sparkin' ends. I'm Fine! Oh, I said I'm Vine! <laughs> so it's like two to three real girls and then a bunch of homunculi. Yeah, that, that seems to be the case. They must not only punish, they must punish with impunity. Yeah, damn you, Carol. Maybe they're both the same character, but from different points in time. So your past self is trying to defeat your future self. どこまで行けばいいのかな。行けるとこまでです。でもそれじゃあの頃と変わらないよ。身寄りのない私たちが連れてこられた壁も天井も真っ白な世界。そこで出会った新ホギアを。Ah, uh, there's the two people who win a poll. <laughs> Canonly working together, there you go. Yeah. Never saw them in the same scene before. Hard to when one of them dies in one season. Right, but that was the flashback that proved that they were around at the same time while working together. あんな風になってしまったです。目的もなく行けるところまで行ったところに望んだゴールがある保証なんてない。がむしゃらなだけではダメなんだ。もしかして。いや、who yeah, that's that's fair. Is that you for addressing this? This plot point. It's very important, so yeah, very good. Got hard to lean back on Fine for help now. Yeah, a little late. <laughs> Seeing the least injured person is the one who didn't transform. She didn't do anything. I didn't clean my ears this morning. That's really dirty. <laughs> And now back to school, and everybody's happy. Look out, they're powering up! <laughs> what is going on? I know beef's growing off because I live in America. Oh, no, don't hold like that. No! Ah, oh, your fingers! Right through the wrist, bleeds everywhere. Don't cut towards yourself, that's the worst thing you can do. 
feel like those should be cut up more. Nope. It, this is fairly adorable, though. What are you talking about? We cook. <laughs> Look, some might say it's a piece of cake to make a pretty cake. <laughs> Is this like the interlude? It, it's one hell of an intermission. <laughs> I think the indication is that Japanese people only know beef stroganoff from manga and anime. I'd also say you'd be hard pressed to actually cook beef stroganoff based on those instructions. I was about to say, I was getting real nervous with that cutting technique, and then she did it. It's just the storyline of Witcher Mercury. This tool should be used for medical technology, not for war. They're medical giant robots. It's a cooking knife, not a stabbing knife. <laughs> Disagree. <laughs> it's better than food I've had at home. If I could order out from the hospitals I've been to, I would. <laughs> So if a ninja is representing her in the industry, what powers do you think this guy has? Uh, the power of finance. He's a quirk user. You know, I don't think the thing that I realized was that the fights were happening across the world. Yeah, they they did indicate it, they mentioned it, but the action made it uh, difficult to determine that they were different places, I guess. Oh, we're getting a new training sequence? You gotta go through training now to figure out how to use them? If you just train hard enough. Oh, looks like somebody gave them, uh, sent them some bits on Twitch. <laughs> Well, one, you guys are so even younger than everyone else. Look, Habiki was gonna die if she kept using hers, and she kept fucking doing it anyway. And here they know they can at least give something to them for it. Who's gonna stop those two? Yeah. Ah, okay, so they're also powered by life force. <laughs> Not life force, memories, apparently. Murdered the whole supermarket. 
まう問題の頃これでオートスコアラーは全機起動計画を次の海底に進めることができる<笑>どうしたミコお腹が空いて動けないぞガリーはいはいガリーのお仕事ですよねついでにもう一仕事こなしてくるといいそういえばマスターエルフナインは連中に保護されたみたいですよ把握しているあいやおつやだつけわなキャロルに命じられるまま巨大装置の一部の建造に携わっていましたある時アクセスしたデータベースよりこの装置が世界をバラバラに解剖するものだと知ってしまい目論みを阻止するために逃げ出してきたのです That, that's a, this is pretty straightforward. At least, like, yeah, no, I wasn't going to let someone destroy the world. Oh, there's Scar. <laughs> They're only doing half of alchemy, right? Other alchemists said they are Scar. Wow. <laughs> like I say something and don't realize what I said in the last episode. Parents are dead too, you know? Yeah, they got a lot going for them. I do not have powers. Unfortunate. Oh, and Oh, and it's the whole, um, Al conversation, too. Oh, gosh, it is. It's, like the the box. it's Pandora's box. Oh, that's the name of the things from Iron Blood Orphan, so we had talked about four episodes ago. Dance Leaf, yeah, remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, um. I would say rocket launchers. The railgun things that they're illegal to use. Dance Leafs, that's what they're called. Mm. Is that how we're getting around this problem? Yeah, it sure is. And they right, just said homunculus. They just said homunculus, too. Ah! I told you, Griff. It's the only thing that makes sense if you're using alchemy. Alchemy operates on equivalent exchange. Piggy's got one thought. Could you drop a picture of the noise? Yes, they did. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
Two of you are in real danger. Two of you don't have names. <laughs> <laughs> Will they be sacrificed? Let's find out. Two of you better start running now. Of course, this is all just the exact same plan as before, right? Brands? Oh, bad time to have a cough. Well, she didn't explain to her friend the problem, I guess. Oh, this is a different problem then. Um, I thought I thought she was faking it at first. I yeah, I, I thought it was just like a moment of panic, but like, uh, ho hold up, what happened? <laughs> yeah, I thought she was faking it because her friend didn't know what's going on, didn't want to freak her out about why she can't go into the thing because she'll lose it immediately. And now it's this. Mm -hmm. It's also kind of funny that we have this two uh, double layer issue now, where the main people, the uh, the auto singers, what are they called? Auto. Uh, auto somethings. Auto auto scorers. The auto scorers will drain your life and leave a corpse. Yeah. And then they're using the noise as their like underlings, and the noise will turn you to dust. <laughs> so. <laughs> one leaves a big old mess, and the other one leaves a hooverable mess. On one hand, like, they did mention that they are trying to be at least a little subtle about it, because they still need to, like, quietly get food and, like, fill up. On the other hand, they all have a tool that could clearly take away all evidence, and they do not care to use it for that. <laughs> well, we don't know that the, if the noise touches a corpse, it will turn to dust. I mean, it's organic matter, right? A lot of stuff is organic matter. So I guess we haven't seen if the alchemical noise uh, breaks down normal people yet either, but they're also saying they wanna. I mean, the dirt is filled with a lot of biological stuff. And you're mm -hmm. saying if these things walk on dirt, the whole earth is dead? Well, a lot of stuff in the dirt is gone, but, like, the mass is still there. What's, what's the difference between dirt and a layer of dust? The answer is, uh, how long has it been there? Uh, so, you got any more thoughts, Theta? <laughs> no, I mean, that was the most noticeable thing off the top of my head. Yeah. So, um, yeah, literally every single character is without their ability to, uh, Well, no, transform. two of them aren't. Two of them technically aren't, correct. But, uh, via other means will not be allowed to intercede unless they have specific requirements fulfilled. And technically, two other of them don't have to transform to have their powers. Yeah, uh, they they ought to bring that back up, right? Well, no, because now they've the, brought the, show the noise. Keeps a good on everything. No, because now they've brought the noise back, which means that they mm -hmm. can't fight the noise. Hmm. So yeah, no, like uh, the the show has definitely gone from uh, throwing everything at us to making the situation immensely dire by taking it away now. Yeah, like I said, it's the new, uh, it's the Lord Zed era of Power Rangers that we've been introduced to uh, a new threat, and the people, the characters have lost their their powers, so now they have to get the Zeo crystals or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess next time they uh, summon the Megazord, huh? All right, Theta. Any any final thoughts before we get going? I think I said most everything in the in the reaction. All right, it's all good then. In that case, this has been Stone Face Reactions, everybody. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we'll catch you next time. See you around. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching another Stone Face Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below, and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?